broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey guys, happy afternoon. This is Mary of Mongrain and I'm live here, not really live with you guys, but I'm live in my heart. Uh, recording this is the Me Time podcast with Mary Eve. Uh, for those who don't know me yet, uh, I'm a Mary Eve Mongrain. I think it's the, fir- the third time I'm saying my name in like 30 seconds, and I'm okay with it because I want you to remember it. <laughs> you cannot forget me after that. <laughs> I'm a mindset and self love life coach. And this is, I don't know, my 30th something uh, episode. And I want to thank you so much, you guys, for being there and listening to it. Um, I had. This today, I, I will be honest, for those who don't know me, you will think sometimes I go all over the place. I do not have a specific topic to my podcast. Um, I talk about whatever is being channeled to get the message out. And I just wrote, I just write a bunch of things I want to discuss that happened in my week. Uh, I teach love attraction, love assumption, and how you create your own reality. Uh, I've been widowed for, I'm 37 years old, and I've been widowed uh, for the past almost five years. June 29th is the day my husband passed away. So I'm like on the stretch to finish that, to finish that fifth year of being widowed, a uh, single mother of two little girls, uh, but not single and like, oh my God, a single mother who's struggling. I did have my struggles, yes, but I'm working on changing what widow means, what struggling, like what being a single mother means, right? We have all these negative limiting beliefs about oh my god single mother she must have it hard it was not easy but now i'm going to show that you can be a single mother and have an amazing life and i know there are so many other women out there who are kicking ass and yes i can say the word ass it's my podcast i was told i can say whatever i want so (laughs) i am free to say whatever I, i want and this is what i love about this is i just share whatever comes up even if I have my list, I most likely will not go through the whole list yet. So I'm going to do another one for, for your enjoyment. But there's just so much that I want to share from my experiences. I had an, an awakening, a spiritual awakening four years ago. And my stories, I'm on live on TikTok right now. So hello, live TikTok. Thanks for being there. Got my friend Sonder here. There. I've been live for the past, I don't know, three, four hours now on TikTok, just sharing my life. And he's been there it's just like I'm on the radio station. So thank you. You're on my podcast now. Uh, Sandra from Toronto. <laughs> I do enjoy acknowledging the people who are supporting me um, through all I'm going through, right? So for a while, I was complaining a lot. Like, I don't get support, but I always saw the people who were supporting me, right? Not the people I wanted all the time. Um, but, you know, that was the inner child in me looking for validation from her daddy or looking for validation from her teacher or from her mentor, right? But I had validation from all the people around me and I had to give it to me. So today, there's a couple of things I want to share with you. First of all, I want to send a huge thank you. Today is a day where there's been a breakthrough this morning of my awareness of my reality on how I'm doing way much better, way much better than I thought. And I was on my life, on the life on TikTok, and I was chatting with, with Sonder because he was the one there. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you know, like I get to meet amazing people, right? I went to Lisa and Nicole's wedding because I'm on our campus and I get to do this. And I have a friend who was mayor of the town where I live. Like I got to be surrounded by big shots and like, this is pretty cool. And as I was getting excited about like, man, the people I'm meeting, I opened my email. I'm like, oh, I remember today there was a master class because I'm on speaker mastermind with Lisa Nichols which is an amazing program. And um, I said, oh, I know we have a, a speaker. We have a, a master class today. We have a, 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 our monthly meeting. And I went and saw that uh, there was only 15 minutes left of the meeting. I always do what's to my highest excitement. So it's not that I don't like consistency, is I like to do what my impulse is telling me to do. I know my inner being is always guiding me to where I need to be all the time. So if I miss the first 45 minutes, not that if, but I missed the first 45 minutes of that class, but I was enjoying myself live on TikTok, sharing with my my community. 
right? Why am I taking those classes so I can know how to build a community and engage with, my, with the people who are following me, which is what I was already doing. I was already engaging with them, right? So I'm not gonna go and learn how to engage when I'm already engaging here, right? So that kind of like doing something because you think you need more because you think you're not enough when you already have it there. So for me, I'm like, well, my highest excitement is to be with you. And I said, you know what? I want to stay engaged with you guys. So I'm going to go and do, I thought it was 15 minutes left of the, of the, the live with, my, with Lisa. I said, I'm going to put you on the side and I'm going to go and do my thing. Even if I'm not engaging on the screen here on my phone, I took my class. They still listen in and to what I was doing. And at one point, Lisa was like, oh, I see you, Mary. I saw you in the group when you posted about, you know, you're screaming and expressing and dancing about that billboard on Times Square. I saw you, girl. And like, I was like, oh my God, she saw me. I was like, oh my God, right? I'm being seen. And I was like, exciting. But before I actually went and um, go on that live with, my, with her and Sander, I know, I know Sander cannot tell you, but you can definitely tell that on the live on TikTok. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go see what time my meeting is at. And I go in my email and I open the email and here's Ashley from PBN podcast, which thank you so much. I love you so much. She sends me an email because a couple of weeks ago, I said, I would love to know how many people I have that are listening to my podcast so I can justify, you know, spending almost $50,000 on my podcast, right? I have amazing sponsors. Thank you so much. But also I spend, no, I sponsored myself through that as well. But like I didn't, I never get feedback. I never get feedback. Like, are people loving my, are, are, they, are you guys loving my podcast? Did you learn anything? Do you have any breakthroughs? I don't hear, I don't have any feedback from anyone. And so in my eyes, like, well, I want to be able to justify the government, you know, for my tax purposes. You know, I didn't make that much revenue last year, but I had a lot of expenses. So in my head, it was even to justify for me, right? I, everything comes through me. The government will act on my vibration. So for me, every time I declare something, it's important that I feel good in putting it in so that when they come back, I can say, I can justify, say, well, yeah, here's what I've done. Here's what I've done, right? So, but I got the email today. And as I'm opening, I'm like, oh, okay, what's this? Oh, from Ashley, I'm looking and opening it. Like I can see that, oh, last, in the last seven days, at one point I had 147 downloads of the podcast, and then it was like down to five and 10. And I was like, on the right side, so for you guys here, there was a number, like all time downloads. And it took me a while to tell Sunder, like, because he was the one on the screen there. I said, oh my God. And I was like, what's going on? What's the email? I'm like, I, it took me what, maybe two minutes before I was able to speak. Like, I was like, just speechless. I'm like, no, that, that's not right. Like, that, that can't be right. And the number was 34,395 downloads, all time downloads. I was like, no, I sent her an email. I said, am I reading this correctly that my podcast, which I have about 30, episodes 35 is, is that correct that this is the all time of my podcast right if i'm reading this correctly holy crap <laughs> wow <laughs> so thank you i am in shock i am not numb but I am really like, it's like, you know the emotion too good to be true, but I know at the same time I create my reality and I know my content is very valuable. So is it too good to be true? No, it's just a very nice confirmation that my content, even though I don't see the impact it has on you guys, this is validation that you guys actually listen to what I say. and. Like I said, that's a huge ton of brick of love. 
I'm doing it because I have fun, right? I have fun sharing my stuff. And I'm really, really, you know, hoping it reaches the right people. And I know, I'm not hoping, I know. But that 34,000, eh, eh. Sorry, I'm still like <sighs> breathing it in and accepting it. I'm still, I guess I'm seeing the number. <laughs> I'm still like, what? And so this showed me that I'm doing better than I thought I was. And this is proof for me and should be proof for you guys as well that because you don't see it, doesn't mean it's not there, right? Because I don't see the numbers and I don't know who's listening to it, does not mean nobody is listening to it. Because I didn't get the feedback, doesn't mean it was not there. And I've opened this week, last week, I've opened the gate of receiving abundance in different ways. On Sunday, I actually, I posted a TikTok video on my TikTok account, which is Mary Mongrain 90. Oh yeah, let me tell you my, my stuff so you can actually contact me, you know. I know Love Attraction will get you to find me if you need my services, but I can also give a hand. I can give a hell a hand, sorry, I'm gonna give a hand. So TikTok, Mary Mongrain 90. So M A R I E M O N G R A I N 90. Same handle on Instagram. I do have a second Instagram, which is Mary Ev Mongrain Model. And also Facebook. But on Facebook, I have one that's about my business. So Mindset Life Coach, Mary Ev Mongrain Mindset Life Coach. Uh, otherwise, it's Mary Ev Mongrain, but I don't really add people on my Facebook. So you're better off on Instagram and TikTok. On TikTok, I spend like four or five hours a day on there, like doing lives at night, doing lives during the day, sharing my life. So if you want to be in my energy and be with me, you can be live on, like I'm streaming my life right now. <laughs> it's pretty much it. That's pretty much what it is. Eh? I'm streaming my day. I just have fun. There's nothing else I need to do than just have fun. And I'm enjoying sharing that, right? Oh my God. I'm uh, sorry, like I just like break through. Because I was sharing on on the on TikTok how huh, thunder. Do you know? Do you know what what I'm gonna talk? Do you know what that means? I know what it means. Oh my god! I'm sorry when I get excited. I just need to gather my thoughts because I was sharing on on TikTok just before how you know, and I already shared. <laughs> You're not sure. That's okay. I know what I'm, what I, what's going on for me. I was sharing how, uh, and it's a story I've told you guys uh, on this podcast. So if you haven't heard about it, go listen to some of the past podcasts around December with Jill Nicolini. When I got my car, when I got my car, get my Porsche. Before I got my Porsche, I had my Honda Pilot and I went to the gas station and I decided in the last four, the last for fill up that I did to go and buy Supreme gas at Costco because the Supreme gas costs the same as regular gas at the regular gas station. So if I'm going to pay $1.95 for regular, let me go pay $1.95 of Supreme at Costco and put it in my nice Honda Pilot, which I had. I did that four times. And when I changed vibration and allowed myself to go at Porsche, and now Porsche my, the price was cheaper than a regular, than, you know, a Honda Pilot. I, I, I saved on insurance. I saved so much money in buying a better brand car. You would think it's the opposite, but it was not. Go listen to one of the podcasts. You'll see it. And if you don't find it, you're going to listen to other amazing stories that you guys need in your life right now. <laughs> and you'll get at one point, you'll get to the poor story. Anyway, so I was getting myself ready to just treat myself like, my car is deserving of supreme gas. Right? I'm deserving of luxury. And so I started to, to spoil my car like this. So when I got in the Porsche, the Porsche is you have to buy supreme gas. It's not regular, it's supreme, right? So at the regular gas station, it costs 10 cents extra. At Costco, it's gonna be the same price as the regular. And even two weeks ago, me getting Supreme gas at Costco costs two cents less than regular gas at SO. So my luxury 
car cost me less money than a normal car. So now, today, I'm on the vibration. Like I started doing more lives in the evening. That means so I was staying in bed with my kids at nine o'clock. I actually get up, come and have a snack and chat with people on the internet. One day when I have my relationship, my dream relationship, I will not be staying in bed with my kids at, when they fell asleep, right? I will, not be falling, I will not be staying in bed once they fall asleep. I will get up and go spend time with my man. When I have a man in my life, I don't know if you can see where I'm going, Sander. When I have a man in my life, and I don't know if you guys can see where I'm going with that. I will spend time with him because we'll have a freedom lifestyle. That means either he'll work from home so that when he has coaching, he can go and do his thing. And in between coaching, we get to spend time together. We get to create content together. We get to talk all day long together. What did I just do today? I've been live on TikTok since 1030. And now it's three o'clock and I'm still live. Your guys are on my energy. I'm allowing the freedom, the space to have to be able to talk to someone all day long. So that relationship is coming. Is it you, Sonder? I don't know. I don't know what's going to be. But there's somebody like now it's just like I'm on this vibration. We're chatting all day long, getting in the energy of having someone in your energy. So that when I actually change vibration and am ready and allowing myself to have someone, it will be as if there was no trend. Like, well, of course I'm ready. I was already talking to people all day long, right? It will not be a change because I was already doing it. Just like I was already filling my car, my, my other car with Supreme Gas. When I got the Supreme, the, the luxurious car, it was just normal. I was already doing it. Now, I'm talking quite a long time in the evening and during the day with people on internet. So I'm giving space in my vibrations. Okay, I'm okay to talk with people and I have energy other than mine. I'm not just being by myself. So that means when I do get that boyfriend slash teacher, husband, my husband, my next husband, it will just be the same thing. Like, of course I'm ready. I've been doing it for the past couple of weeks or whatever. When I have clients, of course I'm ready. I've been already doing it for a while, right? It's just whatever you want, right? You want to get the, the, the feeling like, oh, I already feel like this. I already feel luxurious. I already feel I'm doing this lifestyle, of course. And now like I'm planning to next month in July, we're going for my girls. They're doing their iPop contest for um, modeling and uh, acting. I'm sorry. And I still haven't bought, like, we're June, we're June something, <laughs> sorry. We're June, I think we're June, June 13 or something. And I still haven't bought my tickets, and we're leaving July 10. And so I said, you know what? If I didn't get the impulse to buy yet, either I'm going to get a better price, or somebody's going to pay for my trip, or like, there's going to be something better. Because if I had the impulse, like, now I know there's always something better. It's there. I know we're going. I got the fund to pay for it, right? It's all good. And then my, my travel agent I said, I would like to spend a few days in Los Angeles. That we're going to be in Anaheim for the competition, go to Disney for days. And after that, we're going to spend a couple of days, do our tourist in Los Angeles. And I'm like looking at the prices of the hotel, I'm like, oh, but the lifestyle I want is one that I can go to Ritz Carlton no matter where in the world, right? That's, that's where I want to do. And I said, well, I do have the fun. And I was almost going to cut my trip short for going. Like I would have just left the 19. Like, oh, I don't want to spend an extra $1,500 to go to the hotel like, to, for three days of hotel. And uh, right. I was already in the lack mindset. But it's like, you're there. I got nothing else to do. If, I, if my goal is to move to California one day, you would not spend the extra $2,000 to stay at the hotels and go and visit the town that you maybe want to live one day. Uh, you're not very dedicated to your dream girl, right? So I'm like, well, that's true. And I'm there. Am I saying no because of the price? I was going to say no because of the price, which is not the new mindset I have. Is, is it my desire? Yes or no. Is it, is it exciting? Yes or no. Are you going to do it? 
yeah, so I'm going to go to the hotels and we're going to go and we're going to stay those extra four days because that's the mindset I'm going. I'm not going to backtrack. I want to tell the universe, yes, I'm a bond then and I'm deserving of it and I'm allowing myself to go and get in that energy and that vibration of Los Angeles down down and go and do go visit those luxurious building that celebrity lives in right at one point if I want to be there kind of have to go and see the energy first right so be a match to it and calibrate to it so that is you know for my trip that's coming up so thank you so much all of that to say thank you for all of you guys who are actually listening to me I'm like why am I surprised because I never felt like I was hurt before even as a kid so that there are so many downloads still can't believe it but it got me a lot of um, perspective on all that was missing also, right? That gave, that gave me, I can see the shift in, in the way I'm thinking. Because with this, um, last week, I have money in, my, in, my, in some investment I had, and I had to pay for some of my trip expenses and some of my stuff that was coming up. And I'm like, okay, every time I ask for like money from my investment, I feel bad. So I'm just gonna get whatever, I got three different things. I got one, I said, I'm going to empty it, put it in my bank account. That way I'm, I know, I'm, whatever, I'm done. I'm going to remove the stress and I know something good's going to happen. So give it to me. And I got less than I expect, I thought I was going to get. And I was a little pissed off at that. I'm like, ah, but I said, what, whatever, right? I, I'm very grateful for the money I have. And in the past five years, I always had that feeling of like, okay, I got all of this money because I had a nice inheritance. Now, like I'm going at the end of the inheritance, but I'm letting the universe bring me other ways of having money, not just the inheritance, right? If I only see the only way I can make it out is if I get the inheritance, guess what's going to play out in my reality? That this is the only money I'm getting. So far, that's what's been playing out. But now I'm like seeing, I'm like, oh, if I'm looking at where I am today, I'm, am I stressed right now? No, I'm not. I'm doing way better. I still have this and I still have this. And I still have this much. So just like the numbers where this is way more than expected, because I was not expecting this. When I look at the numbers, it's been five years. And the goal, when, when my husband passed away, we said, well, we're going to have this amount to cover expenses so that we can live at least five years, that we can stay home, take care of the kids, take care of ourselves. Right? That was a plan when he got life insurance before he got sick. We, we didn't even know he was going to get sick. But. So the person, the survivor, would be able to be home for five years. I'm at the end of the five years, and I still have a nice amount in here. I'm doing way better than I expected. But that just is a shift in mindset, because this morning, that was not a perspective. I'm like, oh, huh, right? And then on TikTok, like the question is like, are you, not, are you sure you're going to have enough with that for the whole year? that's because you don't believe I can get more. That's because you don't believe in me, right? Because the, the amount of money I have right now is just the amount of money I have right now. There's another six months of the year and I'm working. I got, I'm doing things, I'm doing projects, I'm creating stuff. There's other things that are happening that this is not the only way I believe I can get money. And, but that changed when I took that money out. I said, okay, something changed in me. And the reason why I did take that money out because before I was like, I'm not going to take it all out because you no, know, there was a fear it was, it was not going to come back. There was a fear of the money not um, showing up again. But I took a class, a master class last week from Fiona McConaughey. Uh, she's on TikTok and that's where I saw her video. Um, I'm on my podcast here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had a question. It's like, who are, who are you talking to on TikTok? And it, I'm doing my podcast. And so... She's teaching that if you see money as being the masculine energy, the masculine energy wants to protect you, who wants to seduce you, who wants to devour you, who wants to uh, what, um, who wants to give you the world, right? If you see money as the masculine, and your role is just to seduce it and just be open to receiving and say, thank you. Here's what I want. Oh, thank you. Right. Being the feminine and seeing money as the masculine. Honestly, doing that one hour masterclass changed so much for me. 
I started seeing money as wanting to be seduced, wanting to play, wanting to have fun, right? Instead of being ashamed because I had so much money, I was ashamed. Like when my husband died, like not, I'm ashamed people will think I'm a bad person. All this negative belief with having money was proving to myself I was a good person with money. If I was so generous, and I'm like, I know I'm generous. I know I'm a good person, but I was proving myself that I was a good person and proving to others too. But I was ashamed of having money. And now it's like, hmm, I have different, difficult, I had, I will say that. I had difficult relationship with my dad for a while. And like some man, some guys I met in the past, was like, I, the, the relationship I had manifested with them were a little like a little weird. And there was a lot of resentment towards the masculine of not being seen, not being heard, not being chosen, not being validated and feeling unsafe. But when she said, well, now let's see money as the masculine. So instead of focusing on the resentment I had for my dad or I had for this guy, or I said, huh, how about can I find, right? Oh, my dad didn't give me money, you know, when I needed this, he didn't give me that. But I found a way to, for, to have money, right? I worked really hard. I worked my ass off when I was a kid to have the money so I could have what I desired. But now I'm seeing how oh, money was always been there. Money has always provided me for my studies. Money has always been there when I wanted to go for a trip. Money has always been there. I've always had all the houses and I always had a roof on my head. I always had food. I always had a car. I always had, you know, what I, the necessities and everything I wanted. I just was not dreaming big enough, right? So I'm like, well, I don't have extra because I didn't dream anything that needed extra. But it's like, huh, now if I see on money, like, yeah, money, you can seduce me. Yeah, I love money, right? And somebody actually on one live had said, well, don't put money on a pedestal. Like, don't worship money. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to worship money. My word is not tied to it anymore. Don't, like, I'm not worshiping it. But I'm like, actually, you're right. I will not worship money. Money will worship me. And the ground I'm walking on, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm the divine feminine. Money is worshiping me. I don't need in my life, but it wants me because I'm super awesome. And on my life, like on, on TikTok, sometimes I've got people who are just giving me like gifts and it does turn into money. I, like I only got like 17 cents and 16 cents and five cents, but all these gifts actually end up like I have a revenue. It is a revenue. It's not like the big, you know, with a bunch of zeros at the end yet. But if I open, if I change perspective, I say, my God, I am getting revenue from TikTok, from doing my lives, right? And like after doing this, I shared a story of how I, I, almost, I almost slept with a married man three years ago. And I share that story on TikTok. And one day, maybe I'll share it with you guys here. Um, that post got me two or 300 new followers in 48 hours. Every three minutes, there was like, I could look at my feet. Every three minutes, there was somebody new that was following me. I'm like, oh my God, the gate is open. I'm allowing people in now. And now just seeing that, the changing the perspective on my investment. I'm like, I got more than I need. You guys, for the, the number of downloads that you guys have done for my podcast, I didn't see, I didn't even know that. This is too good to be true. Like, man, it is true. I'm doing better than I thought. And so I'm going to ask you, but after listening to my podcast, how can you start seeing in your life that you're doing better than you thought? That you're doing better than you thought? That is my question to finish this. So on this, I'm Mary of Mongrain. It was a pleasure speaking with you. And I can't wait to do my next podcast. Um, and talk to you about the Max and CoverGirl contest. I'm participating. I will explain to you everything, but until then, you can go on my page, maryfmongreen.com, or you can go on any of the Instagram or TikTok in my bio, the link to go and vote for me daily for, for me to win the CoverGirl, to be the Max and CoverGirl um, of 2022, is the votes are there. So I'm just giving you a little something for you to come and listen to the next podcast and go and visit my, my, my TikTok and Instagram. On this, you guys.
may your day be as awesome as you are. And now I like to say that if you don't believe you're awesome yet, may your day be as awesome as I am. Have a great day. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.